Hello everybody. Well, after taking last week off of doing a video, I thought I'd throw one together for you for this week. Um, we are still on chapter seven and eight, and this week you'll be doing the case studies. I want you to pick one case study from each chapter that you want to do, any pick you want. I would try and get a couple that are uh, kind of fit together, but your choice uh, for chapter seven and chapter eight. So I would encourage you to maybe take the shorter ones. All right. Um, Everything is graded. Everything's caught up. As soon as I get this video done, I'm going to be emailing you all with your graded assignments. So good job there and getting all those things done. I do want to make a little point of clarification for my graduate students. The, the uh, business plan that you were going to do for your final, I've decided that that's it's just not going to work. Um, I sent an email out about this last week, but some of you didn't get it apparently. It's just not going to work the way I had hoped. Um, the more I thought about it logistically, it just it wasn't going to fit right, and I didn't want you to slap something together. Plus, earlier this semester with one of your case studies, you did a business plan anyway. So, for your graduate project, you are to, or your final graduate project, you are to do a second article review. Okay. Now, with this article review, I want you to pick an article that is related to media management and related to one of the concepts that we've dealt with in the text this year. Um, I want you to talk about the article. You can briefly summarize it, no more than a couple paragraphs summarizing the article. Then I want you to critique the intro, the literature review, the methodology, and then their findings. So you're going to look a little bit about what they talked about in their introduction. Did it set up that there was an issue that they were addressing? Uh, get in their literature review and tell me, was it timely? Uh, was it easy to read? Did it make clear sense? And did it establish the research questions? Talk a little bit about the methodology they used, whether that's a survey, whether it was in-depth interviews. If you think they could have done it better or you know, if they thought you thought it would fit very well, if it's very appropriate. And then finally talk about the discussions. And in any good research article, they're going to list limitations. Okay, You can't cover everything. So they're going to mention those. The idea behind this is we want you to get a feel for looking at academic, academic research. Whether you're going to do a thesis or not, we want you to see what it's like because you might decide at some point you want to. Okay, so that's just that, that there was just for my graduate students. Um, that is your final graduate project that will be due on May 3rd at 5 p.m. Um, then everybody will have the, the final project that's due on May 3rd at 5 p.m. That final project, by the way, don't start sweating it at all. Um, it's actually just kind of a fun project, a little self-reflection project that is for you to do. You do it, you get full credit. I mean, pretty easy one for you. Okay, so case studies for chapter seven and eight, your pick, whichever case study you want to do, and have those to me Sunday by uh, midnight, and have a great week.